What is up ladies and gentlemen of the Lojo Fishing Fam? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I got my nice little camouflage on today because these big fish are not gonna be able to see me coming. Got a little fishing challenge for us today, guys. I'm gonna be taking two of the most popular and most used soft plastic lures in the bass fishing world. I'm gonna be pitting them head to head in today's little competition to see which one gets the most bites and which ones gets the bigger bites. As you can see guys, we have a multitude of different sizes and colors, worms and lizards. We got a little Guggenbait Slim Shake worm here, green pumpkin, got a Guggenbait's big worm, Mondo worm and red bug. We got a couple different lizards. We got a green pumpkin lizard, a lemon chartreuse pepper lizard, and we got like a June bug lizard. So as you guys can see, we have a just beautiful beautiful variety of lures in which we're gonna throw today. Guys, it's no secret to anybody that worms and lizards can catch bass, but which one is going to be able to get more bites and which one gets the bigger bite? I know myself, I've always believed that worms get more bites and lizards get the bigger bites, but yeah, there's only one way to find out, and that is to put them both head to head, side by side, the same day, same conditions, same water, same fish, and see what they prefer. To do that and to make sure it's completely fair, we're gonna spend the next two hours fishing these two lures and we're going to alternate them every 30 minutes. Worm, lizard, worm, lizard. We're also gonna alternate how we fish them. I have just a regular Texas rig weighted setup right there. And then I have a finesse setup. So if we decide to like try to wacky rig either one of them or Nico rig either one of them, we're gonna kind of alternate between the two kinds of rigs as well as alternating between the two lures. Guys, as always, get in that comment section. Let me know what your experience is with worms versus lizards. Which one do you think is a better overall all around lure? Guys, if you end up enjoying this video and you want to see more head to head comparison videos with different kinds of lures, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. That's less what lets me know that you guys like it and you wanna see more. If you're new to my channel and my analytics say that a lot of you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's a red button, it's completely free to join the Lojo Fishing Fan, the best subscribers on YouTube. Make sure you do that. Enough talk guys, let's get something rigged up. We're gonna bounce around between some ponds out here and see what happens. To start with the old Texas rigs. I mean, you know, let's be honest, isn't this everybody's favorite rig? I think we're also going to start with the biggest lure first. I don't really know why. I'm just like, let's just start with the biggest lure first. The old Mondo worm. There you go. That's what our first rig looks like. Our first 30 minutes starts now. Well, we're about 15 minutes into the first little period. I think I'm going to switch to the more finesse style worm. It's possible that the old Mondo worm was just a tad bit too Mondo right now. I tell you one thing though, we are moving ever closely to the very back end of this pond and that's where the wind is pushing into this back little cove right here. So I'm really expecting a bite to come really soon. Whoa, that's a fish. Oh my God, something was running with my worm. He hit it right in front of me too. That's so funny though, guys. I was just telling you, this cove back here looks mighty juicy. Let's get him right back out of here. Oh, or just toss into the tree and get a gi giant bird's nest. That was one of the hardest bites I felt in a while. Right here in front of me too. That's crazy. There's one, there's one. Nice fish too. Let's see if I can get him out of there. Look at that long bass right there. Whew, probably a little male. Might have been the same one that I hooked into a minute ago, right in the top of the mouth, guys. How you want to get him? Oh, cool. So if there's a male down there, might be a female down there. Let me put him back in. So that's two bites and one fish for the worm. Got about, got about four minutes left. I wanna get back in there and catch mama. Hit it almost in the exact same place and almost in the exact same way. That was crazy. There's another bite right there. 
Oh, another fish for the worm. Whoa. Oh, I'm not sure if that's the female or what. That nailed that hook set too, right in the face. Looks like the same dang fish, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. My next cast, very next cast. Get on back out there, dude. Sorry, I don't like throwing them like that, but there's really no way for me to ease them down into the water right now. Well, that is it for period number one for the worm. So now we're gonna move on to Texas rigging the lizard. So we got, what, three bites on the worm, caught two fish, very nice. I'm gonna stick with the same color for a little while. That worm was green pumpkin, so I'm gonna throw the green pumpkin lizard, at least for a little while. And I will be interested to see how these bass that are obviously getting getting all charged up, how they respond to a lizard versus a worm. Let's keep on moving further into this little cove where the wind's blowing in. I just feel like that's gonna be like a spawning flat type area. And just getting those three bites right there kind of validates what I was thinking because I did not get any bites on the first half of the pond. And now all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Oh boy, this is gonna be trouble we can't really cast here but I know that there are fish in here I just know it maybe maybe I can get it in here somehow by getting a fish out of here that's a whole nother story don't even know if that's possible oh there we go somehow I casted it out there I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now there's a zero percent chance that I'm getting a fish with any size out of here. Whoa, that's a fish. I don't know if he still got it. Oh, it came pulled out of his mouth. I couldn't set the hook, guys. I could not set the hook. I got trees on top of me and all kinds of crazy stuff. That was a fish 100%. Though. Let's see if I can get him back out there. That's a one bite for the lizard. I can tell you one thing, there's a ton of grass out there because I keep getting kind of clumped up in it and just kind of popping it out of there. And that's where that last bite came, was popping it out of being snagged in some grass. It's a good bite too. I just couldn't set the hook. Oh, there he is again. Don't know if he has it. Yeah, he's got it. Got him that time. Let's see if I can get him through all this stuff. Oh my God. I got him halfway to me. I got him halfway to me. Oh, there he is. Yes. Look at how much darker that bass is too because he's hanging out over here in his grass. Oh, smallest one of the day for sure. But by golly, he helps our little cause out. Look, that's a fat little fish though. Nice, healthy, fat fish. I'm gonna have to really chuck her to get her out there. Whee! All right. Sorry guys, I don't like throwing fish. I know a lot of you guys are getting mad at me, but you see where I'm fishing. I mean, I wanna make sure they get back out there, you know? Okay, two bites, one fish for the lizard. We still got a good 15 minutes, so we're really doing well with the lizard. We're just in this tough spot right here, guys. That was a one pound, one and a half pound bass. If I hook into a four, I just don't see how I'm getting that thing out to me from where I am but I think that's gonna stop me from trying. Negative, not gonna stop me. Oh, I think there's more back here, guys. I just cannot get to them. Cannot cast to them. Let's backtrack a little bit back to where I could cast. Well, it looks like where I just was when I caught my first few worm fish, this is about as good as it's gonna get as far as my ability to cast out and work this cove a little bit. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is. It's a good fish, too. Whoa. Where did you come? Oh, that is a good fish, guys. Holy moly. How am I going to get it in? Oh, my God. That's the biggest one of the day by far. Oh, yes. All right. Not by much, but I'd say biggest one of the day. Oh, it came right out. Look at that. The hook didn't even penetrate. Or if it did, he shook it. So not a huge fish, but the thickest fish of the day by far. Nice job, little buddy. Get on out of here. Oh, that's uh, pretty good timing because I'm pretty sure I had like less than a minute left with my lizard. Let me uh, check the time real quick. 
yep that is time so man are, are we dead even right now with the worm and the lizard we got three bites and two fish on the worm and i think we got three bites and two fish on the lizard right you guys are gonna have to help keep keep track of this because i'm already losing track gotta be honest guys it's pretty much exactly what i expected to happen in round one you know i mean a texas rig is gonna do what a texas rig does and that's get bites so it's almost fitting that we're tied you know two fish to two fish three bites to three bites and even the size is almost equal because i think the biggest worm fish was almost the same as the biggest lizard fish so we really have proven nothing yeah we're just even more confused now than we were in the beginning but now is where we're really going to figure some things out because we're going to take the old fairy wand here and we're going to start off with this tiny little weighted wacky rig hook and i think we're going to start off with the uh, worm wacky rig now, i don't know if i'm going to wacky rig a lizard i mean i don't know if that's how i'm going to roll with this but uh let's just concentrate on round number three right now and uh using the weighted wacky rig because it is still so windy out here i mean you guys can see the wind is just ripping so I feel like the weighted wacky rig is going to give us the best results. I have not seen one bed today, which is very disappointing. But I can't tell if it's because there's no beds there or it's because it's just so overcast and windy. I just can't see through the water enough to see a bed. Wait, is that a bed right there? Well, let's cast on it, by golly. As I'm just talking about not seeing any beds, that's fantastic. We got to find a place where we got the wind at our backs. That's 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 all I know. And we may have to switch to a weightless wacky setup because it's very grassy out here, which is good, but um, it's not really helping us. Oh my goodness, I just walked up on a freaking very large fish right there. Let's see if I can get him to come back. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> right here in the shallows it's like a four pounder I come back and check on her a little bit later i have to be careful as i'm walking around there's this time of year guys there's just there's so many bass just hanging out in the shallows and sometimes they'll be in inches of water and you just won't expect them to be there oh there was a bite oh here we go right there boom <laughs> Like I was saying, in inches of water. And I bet you this is the male right here. Look at that, hooked right in the bottom of the lip. That's so weird when that happens. All right, let me try to put him back in over here. But we'll have to remember that. That's uh, another fish and another bite for the worm. But I'm gonna try to like put him back in over here. That way I can work that area a little bit more. There we go. I don't know how this turned into like a bed fishing expedition, but uh, you know. We just kind of go where the day takes us, you know? All right, Mr. Worm, you're running out of time here. We got like 10 minutes left. The worm has a slight lead, and I do mean a slight lead. Well, for the final five minutes of this whole worm round, we're gonna get super silly. We're gonna wacky rig a Mondo worm. I know you guys are thinking that's crazy, but uh, I've done it before, and I've caught fish on it. So by golly, if we're gonna not catch a fish, we're gonna not catch a big fish. Thank you so much, GoPro, for deciding what is important and what's not important. Guys, I just had a monster bite on the Mondo Worm. I actually bit my Mondo Worm in half, but my GoPro, for whatever reason, did not want to cut on. So you guys missed that. But uh, I'm about to show you what my Mondo Worm looks like now. That's right. It's no longer a Mondo Worm. It's just, <laughs> just a half of a worm because it got bit in half by something. I do not understand why my GoPro would not turn on. Probably because the battery's almost dead. But uh, yeah, so I'm sorry that you guys missed that. We've got like two minutes left for the worm and he's only got a one fish lead. So I don't know, this is, this is definitely gonna come down to the wire, I can tell you that. Can the worm pull something out in the fourth quarter? No, the worm cannot. That is it for worm round number three. Let me do some quick math in my head. I think the worm has gotten a total of five bites and caught three fish, right guys? Am I right about that? Let me know if I'm wrong. And the lizard obviously only has three bites and two fish. So the worm does have a one 
fish caught lead and two bite lead. Um, now the biggest fish, I still think that they're about even, but uh, you guys also let me know which one of those do you think was the biggest fish. Let's start round number four. We're gonna start things off really crazy for the final lizard round. I'm gonna go with the chartreuse lemon pepper lizard. And you can see this thing is really bright, really loud. And I'm gonna throw that one because we have seen some beds and I have seen some bass shallow. So this will kind of be like the equivalent of using like a white crawl, you know, when bed fishing, you know, give you something with some high visibility, something that we can see really good in the water. And maybe, just maybe, the lizard can pull out the dub here. Oh my God, no, no. Guys, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. So I switched lizards again, but I decided to hook it differently. I hooked it through the head and the action that it gives it is, is very unique and I really liked it. And a bass just came up and smoked it. I went for the green pumpkin. I switched from the June bug to the green pumpkin because green pumpkin is just, it's so natural. Um, it just does really well in this water. And I moved over here to this side of the pond where the wind's at my back. I mean, I got slammed. Not only did I get slammed, I saw him come up and eat it, which was really cool. Cause it's so grassy over here. I'm just kind of like keeping it right on top of the grass. So I'm popping it every like, you know, two, three seconds. But I saw him come up and eat it. And somehow he didn't get hooked. I have no idea with a hook that small, that sharp, how you don't get hooked, but you know. Well, it's another bite for the lizard, but uh, at this point we need a fish. The lizard needs a fish desperately. Oh my, another bite. This time I have my GoPro off. Why do I even do that still, guys? You, you just have to ask yourself. And I just cast it into a tree. Oh man. You gotta ask yourself why I do some of the things that I do, guys. I mean, you, you think that I would have learned by now, you always keep your GoPro on. You know, you never know when that bite's coming. And if you have your GoPro off, guess what? You're gonna be slow you have to turn your GoPro on, you have to, then you have to wait for your GoPro to, to come on, then you have to try to set the hook again. Dang. All right, guys, that is it. It is over. So as far as my calculations go, the scores, the final scores are as follows. The worm had five bites, caught three fish, and debatable may have had the biggest fish. Not really sure. The worms also got five bites, so we tied on the number of bites, but the number of fish caught was only two, which was very surprising to me. I really thought the lizard would do a little bit better than that and catch a few more fish than that, but that's how fishing is. And once again, the biggest fish for the lizard may have been the same size as the biggest fish for the worm. So we tied on the biggest size and we tied on the number of bites, but the worm edged out the lizard with three fish caught to two. Now, what exactly does this mean? Nothing. <laughs> Both lures work. We already knew that. I said that at the, at the beginning, these are two of the most popular bass fishing soft plastics out there. But it's always fun to put two of our favorite lures head to head and see which one comes out on top. And today it was the worm. But guys, I would encourage each and every one of you guys to get in the comment section and let me know what you think, which one is better, worm versus lizard. And you know, any information on how you fish it or any kind of crazy tricks that you do to get more bites, flood that comment section with all that, guys. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this head-to-head -head lure video, and I will definitely do more like it. Also, give me some suggestions in the comment section of what two lures or, you know, whatever techniques to pit against each other in another video and i'll make sure i do it guys i am getting out of here on to the next fishing adventure thank you guys so much for watching i love each and every single one of you guys fist bump i am out